let's talk about for loops first. For loops are probably the most basic kind of loop. And in a for loop, what we have is a structure that looks something like this. We have the word for, and inside the parentheses, we have three arguments. And those arguments are called the initialization, the condition, and the increment. Okay. And you can see that each, uh, the initialization and the condition have semicolons at the end of them. And inside the curly braces, we have the code to be looped. Okay. And the code to be looped is the code that's actually executed. So again, the initialization creates a loop control variable, a, a variable that's used to control the loop. And that variable is available for use and you can access the value of that variable inside the loop, but not outside the loop. The condition is some kind of expression that usually evaluates to true or false. And when that condition is true, the loop will continue. And then finally, the increment is usually some kind of an action that's performed to the loop control variable. And the idea is in the initialization, you're starting with a value. And in the condition, you're checking to see if that value is still within a range. And then the increment, each time the loop runs, will change that variable, uh, usually incrementally, uh, usually up or down. And the idea is that eventually that variable will be outside the condition, it will change the condition to false, and the loop will stop. What you don't want is to create a loop that just goes and goes and goes forever, unless that's how your program is supposed to work. Okay, and then the code to be looped is, of course, the loop, uh, the, the stuff that's run repeatedly inside the loop. So let's take a look at an example of a for loop, okay? An example of a for loop might look like this. And in the initialization, we have let i equals zero. So we're setting the variable i equal to zero inside this loop. The condition is checking to see, is i less than 10? And in this case, it's zero. It starts out as zero, so of course it's less than 10 to begin with. And then the increment argument there is i plus plus, which of course adds one to i. So each time this loop runs, i will be a slightly higher value. And you can see here that what we're doing is we're printing the value of i to the console so that we can see that value. And so all this, all this little script is going to do is count from zero to nine. It will not include 10 because you can see as soon as it includes 10, that condition is no longer true because i needs to be less than 10. So we'll stop at nine. So it goes zero to nine and uh, prints those numbers to the console. So again, let i equal zero creates a, a variable i with value zero. i is less than 10 is the condition and it will continue the loop as long as i is less than 10. i plus plus says each time the condition is met, each time that i is less than 10, we're gonna add one to i and then we're gonna run that loop again. And then of course, console log i is what we're doing each time that loop is run.